Mabuhay! People at the back, can you hear me? Alright! On this side, can you hear me? Like Taylor's, 
reached up to 40 meters and became over a combination of natural chandelier made by stalactites and stalagmites formation and organ by black rock formation for the walls. Upon tortoise water awaits upon entering the main chamber of the cave, although the water is very inviting for swim, swimming is not advisable at this area since the cave is a home for the several species of the venomous snake. High above, there's the chance that the roof of the cave casts a shaft of sunlight and illuminates the cave like a sanctum. They're also known for its wallow nest or, or edible bird's nest, which harvest by the locals and take for with exotic bird's nest soup. Okay, everyone, please take care of your personal belongings. Let's proceed to our next destination. But before that, let's just have a trivia. Did you know Snake Island is also known officially as a Beacon Island? It is a famous beach spot here in El Nido. And the island name was an official altered by the inhabitants due to what is now its abuse well. It is roughly three kilometers long connecting the mainland Palawan to the island. Okay, everyone. Okay, everyone. We will let you roam around and enjoy our destination. Now, let's proceed. Like any other island, Snake Island is also a great spot for swimming. Paddling through its spots of natural pool of turquoise water. And that is the island, that is only the island that may give you feeling and experience walking at the middle of the sea. Watching the marine life underneath, like small fishes, sea turtles, corals, and starfishes. The island is also a paradise with lot of mangroves and filled with thick foliage where monkeys are often to see and should be avoided. So far, did you enjoy your destination? Today is a very tiny, but a memorable and meaningful one. Again, this is your tour guide, Kuy Arnold, saying life is a game, play it, life is a dream, reach it, life is love, enjoy it. 